everyone. Welcome to another Vancouver Island Regional Library Baby Time. Thanks for tuning in. It's Kendra and Henry at the Cowich and Lake Branch with you this morning. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so. Then we'll bend and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. Okay, everybody, in this baby time, we're going to be swimming and splashing in every song. And as always, have your baby facing you as much as possible so they can see the language coming out of your mouth because every baby time is all about bonding and developing some language skills. Also, always adjust your volume and your tone, your pace, according to your baby's mood today. Okay, are we ready to do some swimming? These first couple of rhymes uh, are all about uh, the first vocabulary that your baby will probably learn, and that's uh, the parts of the body. So these are some good lap bounces that name the parts of the body. All right, this one goes arm over arm as Henry swam to Dover. When he came to a log, jump, he went over. Arm over arm as Henry swam to Dover. When he came to a log, jump, he went over. So I think the original rhyme is leg over leg. So you can do that with legs too. Leg over leg as Henry walked to Dover. When he came to a log, jump, he went over. But since we're doing a swimming baby time, I did arm over arm. Arm over arm as Henry swam to Dover. When he came to a log, jump, he went over. All right, another rhyme with body parts that I heard at a Mother Goose program the other day. I encourage you to look up Mother Goose programs in your area. They're virtual now, but they're excellent, and I just love this song. It goes like this. It's great for singing in the bathtub or anywhere to the tune of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Take me out of the bathtub. Take me out of the suds. I've been here soaking since half past two. I feel so sudsy and wrinkly too. Oh, I've washed all over my body, my head, my toes in between. I used one, two, three bars of soap. Take me out, I'm clean. Take me out of the bathtub. Take me out of the suds. I've been here soaking since half past two. I feel so sudsy and wrinkly too. Oh, I washed all over my body, my head, my toes in between. I used one, two, three bars of soap. Take me out, I'm clean. That's a great one. All right, another lap bounce one. Here we go. Swim, swim, swim to town, swim to town today. First we'll shop and then we'll stop and then we'll swim away. Home, 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 we'll swim. We had so much fun. We swam until the sun went down and now the day is done. So you kind of speed up and slow down for that one. One more time. Swim, swim, swim to town, swim to town today. First we'll shop and then we'll stop. Then we'll swim away. Home, 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 we'll swim. We had so much fun. We swam until the sun went down and now the day is done. Good job. All right. Now some other vocabulary your baby will learn early uh, besides body parts is numbers and colors. So you could make your own little fish out of colored paper. I've got some colored little fish here. And the rhyme goes like this. One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. It's fun to do those arm movements for that part. Two little 
little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Three little orange fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little orange fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. Four little, what is it going to be? Four little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little green fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. Five little brown fish swimming in the water. Swimming in the water. Swimming in the water. Five little brown fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. That's a good one. I like that tune. All right, another number rhyme, which is a good one, is once I caught a fish alive. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on the right. It's a good one. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right. Good one. All right, I wanted to showcase a couple of board books today because we haven't done that for a long time. Just to remind you again, what makes a good board book? And you might think my baby's too young for board books, but board books, well done, do a great job of getting the getting your baby to learn to focus in and pay attention to books. So, an excellent one that does everything right and your baby will focus and be engaged in this one um, because, like I say, it checks all the boxes. Uh, the text is by Nosy Crow Limited Publishers and the illustrations are by Esther Arts, a great name for an illustrator, Esther Arts. And what I mean by this board book does everything right is bright, engaging colors, um, the objects are things that will grab baby's attention. There are babies in it, for one thing, which is the thing that most grabs their attention. Animals. And the language. The language is another one that they just do excellent with this book. The language is simple, and it kind of encourages a conversation with baby. It encourages a back and forth and a questioning, and the language is pleasant to listen to. It rhymes, and there's not too much of it or too little. So like, for instance, look, there's a submarine going for a ride. Can you see a window? Who's inside? So rhyming, you're asking a question of baby, sort of pausing. Um, and then it's got these great little windows in it. So baby will want to poke at it and see who's in the window. Look, there's a swimming cat. Diving further down, can you see a turtle swimming round and round? Look, there's an octopus, eight legs and all. Can you see a red crab? Watch it crawl. The baby will see the crowd through the windows. Beautiful, beautiful. Here's a little baby. Look, there's a diver, lots of fish too. Can you see a shipwreck? Who's peeking through? So some guessing. Um, you're encouraged to turn the page and see who is peeking through the window. Look, 
There's a blue whale deep beneath the sea. Can you see a gray mouse, small as can be? And the baby will look around and there's the tiny gray mouse. Just an excellent board book, uh, 10 out of 10 for everything that will engage a baby. Another one I found on the shelves is this one, Shapes and Patterns, published by Arvat Books, based in Nunavut. Uh, they have a northern focus, an Inuit focus. Uh, the illustrations are by Olivia Chan, and the back of the book says it best. Let's look at shapes and patterns. This book features a variety of fun shapes and patterns. High contrast images are used to engage an infant's interest in pictures and books while helping to support their visual development. So it's also developing those brain neurons because of the high contrast patterns and shapes. So look at these enga super engaging patterns. And the northern focus in the book, I'm thinking, are their sort of nature shapes, uh, maybe some Inuit cultural patterns, sort of fish scales, water waves, just wonderful patterns and shapes. And they just grab you because of the high contrast between the black and white. So those are just two excellent board books that I found on the shelves in the Couch and Lake branch. Uh, so look up, look up some board books like that, get baby interested in books, uh, they're never too young. All right, I'll say goodbye for now. Tune in every Monday at 10.30 for a different baby time, different librarians from different branches, each with our own style, see what you like best, and uh, play the videos over and over to learn the words of the songs. All right, bye for now. Say goodbye, Henry. Bye-bye, everybody.